From George St. Pierre's cryptic message after his horrible loss at UFC 167, to John Jones claiming that his fight against Mio Cheech will be his last, here are the fighters that hinted at their retirement long before calling it. I want to start by taking you back to 2013, when UFC 167 looked like the last time GSP would set foot in the octagon. After the controversial split decision victory over Johnny Hendricks, GSP dropped a bombshell in his post-fight interview with Joe Rogan. He announced that he was hanging up the gloves and going on a hiatus to sort out some personal issues. But the drama didn't end there. UFC President Dana White wasn't too happy about the champ's decision, so he lashed out during the post-fight press conference, demanding a rematch and claiming that St. Pierre owed it to the UFC fans and Hendricks. But here's the twist. GSP's camp brushed off his post-fight comments like the ramblings of a man who took one too many H-bombs from Hendricks, but when St. Pierre's manager, Rodolphe Beaulieu, talked to Ariel Helwani, he revealed that the champ meant every word he said. It wasn't some spur-of-the-moment decision, in fact. It had been brewing inside him for a while. And trust me, the man was right. Because 2013 wasn't the first time St. Pierre wanted to retire. It started back in November 2012, when he faced Carlos Condit. And Firas Zahabi, St. Pierre's head coach, talked to the fans at the Gentlemen's Expo, admitting that the Canadian had been toying with the idea of retiring ever since his return from the ACL injury to fight Condit. It had been a roller coaster ride for him as he was constantly fighting to prove himself, since he first faced Diaz, then Hendricks. And with the talks of rematches and young guns, it was a never-ending cycle. It wasn't until several years later, in February 2019, that he finally announced his retirement, claiming that he had no energy left to deal with the UFC politics. But sometimes, being brutally defeated makes a fighter call it quits. And that's exactly what happened with Daniel Cormier. The 2-8 UFC champion hinted that he might hang up his gloves after his rematch with Stipe Miocic at UFC 241. Initially, DC planned to retire earlier in 2019, but the fight game convinced him to stay a little longer and take on Miocic once again. Fans had their fingers crossed, hoping for a heavyweight trilogy fight between DC and John Jones. But the 40-year-old fighter himself admitted that his career is at its end. In a chat with TMZ, he said that he wanted to go out and do his own thing, but there's a reason for that. The rematch with Miocic was no ordinary fight because the decision came 13 months after their first epic clash, where Cormier won. While the champ defended his title against Derek Lewis, Miocic was eager to reclaim his belt, and DC knew that his opponent would be a beast in the ring. And he was right. After their rematch, DC finally bid farewell to fighting in 2020, as he was defeated in the octagon by Miocic. And during an interview with Ariel Helwani on the MMA Hour, the former double champ admitted that he should have retired way sooner, in 2018, because he was no longer the vicious fighter everyone had gotten used to. But while DC has accepted his defeat, others have been devastated by their losses. And when someone as competitive as Ronda Rousey is defeated, well, they can never come back from it. The former UFC women's bantamweight champion appeared on The Ellen DeGeneres Show right before her UFC 207 showdown with Amanda Nunes. And when she was asked about her future in fighting, she had the most shocking response. With a smile, she declared that she was wrapping it up and the fight against Nunes would be one of her last. UFC 207 was Ronda's first fight since her terrible loss to Holly Holm, and if she won, she could have possibly reclaimed her throne instead of retiring. But Holm damaged a lot by knocking Rousey out in the second round of their fight. The brutal left foot kick from Holm sent Rousey crashing down. And get this, this was the first defeat of her entire career. With a split lip that required stitches and a heavy heart, Rousey was nowhere to be seen at the post-fight media conference. And that was a hint right there. The woman had no idea how to deal with loss, and she began building a life away from the spotlight. Engaged to her longtime boyfriend and fellow UFC fighter Travis Brown, Rousey found happiness outside the octagon, and honestly, she was doing great. Even Dana White could tell that Rousey was headed toward retirement. And then, UFC 207 rolled around in December 2018, and she lost to Amanda Nunes. This was her final straw. And after two consecutive knockout defeats, her mental and emotional health suffered a lot. So, less than a year later, she said her final goodbye to the UFC and embarked on a brand new journey in professional wrestling. But while Rousey's decline came out of nowhere, some fighters had been on a downward spiral for years, like Chuck Liddell. In December 2010, he officially announced his retirement and it left fans in shock. Most of them thought Liddell would keep fighting until Dana would have to drag him out of the cage. 
But turns out, Liddell didn't need the boss to tell him it was over. He had a heart-to-heart -heart with his family and coaches, and then he met up with Dana, the two went out for dinner, and the UFC president probably thought Liddell was going to ask for another fight. But the fighter told him that he was done, and boy was Dana relieved. Sure, his professional record stood at 21-8, and eight, but his final six fights were a disaster, and four of those ended with him getting knocked out. Leading up to his last bout against Rich Franklin, there were whispers that Liddell will try a bit harder and things were going great until the last 10 seconds of the fight. Fate had a cruel twist in store for him, and just like his battles with Quinton Jackson, Rashad Evans, and Shogun Rua, Liddell got hit on the chin and crumbled to the canvas. I mean, even diehard Liddell fans knew it was time for him to say goodbye, since he'd fallen into a pattern of losses, and after he lost to Rashad Evans in September 2008, he hinted that he might end up retiring sooner than he thought. Then came the Rich Franklin fight in June 2010, and he got knocked out so badly that the guy had no choice but to call it quits. But sometimes, even undefeated legends have teased their retirements for years. I mean, look at Floyd Mayweather Jr., who hung his gloves up after his showdown with Conor McGregor in 2017. But this wasn't his first time going into retirement. He previously retired in 2015 after the Andre Berto fight, and he really thought that it was his last time playing the sport. But fate had a different plan, and here he was, preparing for one last epic battle against McGregor. He had no intention of coming back after his first retirement, but the offer to face Conor got him off his feet, and he just couldn't refuse. Plus, defeating McGregor meant a record of 50 and 0, which would have surpassed Rocky Marciano's mark of 49 and 0. So after putting McGregor to rest in 2017, Mayweather was enjoying the comforts of retirement. But at the Hard Rock Stadium in 2021, he faced Logan Paul in an exhibition match. And though the eight-round fight had no judges or scores, ESPN unofficially scored the bout 78 to 74 for Mayweather. While he called the victory against Paul his last hurrah, Fans knew he wouldn't rest after that, and he definitely didn't. After retiring from the UFC, he's all about those exhibition bouts, planning fights in Japan, Hawaii, Saudi Arabia, and Abu Dhabi in 2023. But let's talk about John Bones Jones, the guy who's headed to the final fight of his career against Stipe Miocic. And the heat is real. Both the guys are itching to make their heavyweight title fight happen. And while the showdown was planned for UFC 290, it's been postponed once again. Instead of July, the two will face each other later in 2023. And boy is Jones frustrated. He took a shot at Miocic, claiming the dude's been avoiding him throughout 2022. And with the rumors of more delays, he's convinced that his opponent is scared of him. But here's the deal. Jones dropped a bombshell with a tweet, teasing a potential fight against Miocic at Madison Square Garden later in 2023. And get this, he openly called it his retirement fight, exactly like every other legendary fighter who'd retired from the sport. So there you have it, from John Jones claiming that his fight against Miocic will be his last, to St. Pierre's cryptic message after his horrible loss at UFC 167, these were the fighters that hinted at their retirement long before calling it.